In this chapter, I'll show you how to create a custom Photoshop workspace and give you some ideas on how you might choose to arrange it. The TK8 panel consists of two separate modules, Multi-Mask and Combo. The Combo module comes in two different shapes, Standard and CX. This innovative design gives you freedom to create an arrangement that best fits your monitor size and Photoshop needs. Photoshop has some preloaded workspaces that you can access in this menu. This is what the preloaded photography workspace looks like. And you can also save different custom workspaces. As you can see, I've created several custom workspaces that I can quickly switch to as needed. If you've never done it before, customizing the Photoshop workspace can be a little confusing until you get the hang of it. To create a new custom workspace, I suggest using the photography space as your starting point. Then come down and choose new workspace. Give this new workspace a name. I'll just call this one TK8 temp for now, but you can call yours whatever makes sense to you. And then to create your workspace, you just move panels or open and close panels however you want them. You move panels by grabbing them and dragging them. You close panels by right-clicking on them and selecting close. And you can open panels that aren't open by coming up to the window menu and then selecting the panel that you want open from the list. In the installation chapter, I already showed you how to open the TK8 modules, but let's do it again so that they're open in this new custom workspace. Instead of the window extensions menu, which is where you used to find previous TK panels, the TK8 panels are now found in the plugins menu right here. So you can just come down and open them like this. You have a lot of choices about where and how you place panels in your workspace. As we already saw, you can move them so that they float out over the image area like this. You can also move them outside the Photoshop boundary and even onto other screens if you use a multiple monitor setup. You can also dock panels together with other panels to create panel groups. And then these will move around together. When docking panels, how and where they will dock is determined by the blue line that you see. And this is done by hovering your actual mouse pointer over the edge of a panel or a group of panels or even the edge of Photoshop itself. And that's the trick, is getting your mouse over the area so that that blue line or outline shows up. So if I want to dock these together, that blue line is showing me that they'll dock together like that. If I want to dock them side by side, now the blue line shows me they're docking side by side. You can expand or contract individual panels by clicking on the panels icon. And this causes the panel to fly out over the top of the image space or other panels. You can expand or contract groups of panels by clicking the double arrow icon at the top of a group. This causes the image space to move over so that the panels don't end up covering up the image. And you can contract all your panels so they take up less space and then expand those panel groups again as you need them. Whether panel groups are docked to the edge of the Photoshop workspace or not changes how they behave. So just placing a group of panels close to the edge isn't the same as actually docking it to the edge. If you wanna dock a group of panels to the edge of Photoshop, you have to make sure that you get that blue line on the edge to make sure that they fully dock. Some panels can be sized by clicking and dragging from the edge of the panel. Panel groups can also be sized by dragging side to side or by dragging up and down in between panel groups.
And remember that you can adjust existing workspaces anytime by moving things around like we've been doing. And you can also come back to this menu to reset workspaces, create more new workspaces, or delete workspaces that you don't need anymore. Now let's look at some different configurations for the TK8 modules. The standard combo module and the multi-mass module are the same width. So that means that you can dock them in a column like this and then dock them to other modules or panels like this if you want them to have their own dedicated group. This also allows you to collapse that group and then just open them individually if you want. Another option is to dock them as panel tabs. So in this way, they overlap each other and you can click on each one as a tab and this saves space, but you can't have them both open at the same time. And you can always double click on a tab and that minimizes them and saves more space. And then you can double click again to open them up when you need them. The shape of the CX module is tall and thin to save space, and it's designed for people like me who like to leave it open all the time. It has all the same buttons as the standard combo module. It's just arranged in a tall and thin format. It can conveniently be tucked to the side of the workspace so that it's always available, but it only takes up half as much of the image area as the combo and multi-mass modules do. So I tend to close my standard combo module because I use the CX instead, and then I tuck my multi-mass module over here with the histogram and navigator area and put it here. And that way I can have my CX module always open and available and I can minimize my multi-mask module, then just open it when I need it. One other thing I like to do is move my toolbar all the way over here to the right side of the workspace. This is useful for me because it keeps me from having to move my mouse all the way to the other side of the screen and back every time I wanna grab a new tool. And if we take a look, you can see that this is, for the most part, how I have my TK workspaces arranged. I like to leave, like I said, the CX module open all the time, and then I close the multi-mask module so it's not taking up space, and I just open it when I need to make masks. So I hope this has provided you with some ideas for your own custom workspace in Photoshop. As you can see, the option for custom module arrangements is pretty much wide open. And remember that you can modify and adjust your workspaces at any time, so don't feel like you're locked into anything.